Hello guys, welcome to CloudML. In today's video, I'm going to give you a review about this book, Learn Python the Hard Way by Z.A. Shaw, which I had followed it in the beginning when I started my journey in data science. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please, please, please subscribe it so that you get the notification of our next video. Click on its bell icon to get the first notification. Now let's start. So this is the one of the book I had come across when I was starting my journey and I wanted to improve my Python. And uh, I was just Googling about top books on Python and I came to know about this. The title was like, uh, when you read this, you will be like, no, I don't want to learn it hard way. But it's not actually hard way. It's actually a very good way to learn it. Let me tell you the best things about this book. Now, the first thing is it looks the harder, but it is easier. I have written some points to discuss it with you. So let's go one by one. Now, the main, the top three things about this book is like how it's uh, structured. Like in, in every chapter, you have been uh, given a code snippet, which you have to type it step by step. Which takes time, which takes time, and it, it 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 it's like kind of boring for you in the beginning, because normally you see the trend nowadays on YouTube, Google is you get the code, you just copy paste, and trust me, it is not a good way to go. It may seems like you you just copy paste and code is running, you have got it, but you you really don't get it actually. I mean, at least for me, I have seen that if I just copy paste code, uh, it takes me time. Like I will have to do this probably let's say twenty times to get things. And normally when you just type code, you may do it two, th two, two three times and uh, you understand the code. Now, the purpose of uh, this book is like you go through each exercise, you type in each file exactly, like you create separate file for each chapter, you type code and you save it and then you run. And the good thing about this book is uh, like nowadays we have these platforms like online compiler, you can use it to learn. But in, uh, in here, it's given traditional way. You create file, you run in command prompt, and it gives you good feeling also. Now, it is difficult at first, like you type code, it is time consuming, but trust me, sticking with it is the best way to learn. Now, just you know, how much time you need to, you just give one to two hours a day, every day, and it, it just maybe in two, three months, you get foundation of Python on the level that nobody can beat you. And you will be very good at interviews also. Now, this book won't turn your programmer at overnight, but it will give you a way to learn anything efficiently. In the long run, you will do great. Now, there are a few things about this book. is like reading and writing code, attention to detail, and spotting differences. This book teaches you how to give attention to details. Now at CloudML, when I see learners having issues like problems in understanding things, one of the common problem is attention to detail. They show that they have got an error, but they don't match code properly. And sometimes you just miss one comma, dot, one single letter, and that gives you problem like error or sometimes indentation issues. And here in this book, they have uh, they have stressed to these things in very detail. Now let's see uh, if you have a problem typing, you will have a problem learning to code. Especially if you have a problem typing the fairly odd characters in source code. Sometimes we do this mistake like uh, we we don't notice odd characters in source code, and we don't type it, and we get syntax error, type error. And here this book suggests, teaches you how to notice it every time. Attention to detail. This is one of the important skills you must have to become a good programmer. I mean, you may say that I don't I want to become a data scientist, not a good programmer, but we all deal with codes and we need to be good in it because sometimes when we work, we have these small, small issues which create like a huge error. And sometimes you have to go through the whole code completely. And that's where this skill comes, attention to detail. You need to learn how to match code properly, where you have gone wrong. I like debugging, I will say, debugging is the skill. 
spotting differences in code that's very important now another thing is ask don't stare i mean in this book you will find these words in a way to give you like you need to ask don't stare at just code where it's uh, the issue is so debugging will be like in the first month you it will be very hard for you to debug it when the first time i was uh, doing all of it and when i saw an error with red line of go like statement syntax error it was very scary in the beginning but with within few weeks you start getting habitual of it you you know how to deal with it in the beginning it's really difficult and if you have a friend who can guide you like i had a friend um, he helped me in the beginning if you have a friend like that it's great but trust me if you have a book like this you won't have an issue you will you will learn i got these books after a month two month but it was a great book i mean i learned it now the be- main important thing is do not copy paste the code this is one of the trend people just copy paste code they don't get this thing that if they type the code it will be best for them in in terms of learning and this copy paste is a trend because we all want to save our time we think that typing code is very time consuming but trust me go through this process you will learn and if you are a complete fresher trust me do this do not copy paste code do not copy paste code now the thing is uh, point point of these exercises in the book is to train your hands your brain and your mind in how to read write and see code if you copy paste you are cheating yourself out of the effectiveness of the lessons so that's the reason why you must write code now if you get this book from let's say uh, like hard copy i think you will get get these videos also you can check this out i don't do not have any idea about that and this is the this is the thing from the book like way of teaching type the code what you will see after run this is given like you will be given all the code and then you will be given what you will see after each run now you will be given also error you may face and then study drills you must do after this and common student questions this is a great great way of learning i didn't get this book in the first place i would have learned probably faster i would have saved my time but since if you are a fresher trust me go through this book like you can check this book on orally i was googling about to suggest you something and they have this free trial also i like for for 10 days you can check this from here if you want to or you can check if you can get this book pdf or hard copy to learn just get this thing uh, my purpose was to give you this uh, review about this book so that if you like to go through a book this is one of the book on python you must go so thank you guys uh, please comment below uh, did you like this new video on cloudy ml channel about giving you uh, reviews on book if you love this we will bring more reviews on different different books which i have gone through or someone else has gone through i will take feedback from them and give you this information thank you guys mm-hmm.